Well, hello and welcome to another Tyrrell's Classic Workshop. And this time round, we find ourselves doing a ketchup, 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 as they've now been um, sort of affectionately described. Uh, and we almost inevitably start with Craig and the, uh, the trim department, because he's been up to all sorts of mischief in his little corner in the workshop. Um, I, I've been instructed to mention the t-shirts and hats because uh, we've had a fantastic response for these and um, we've sold quite a lot of them actually. The uptake has been phenomenal um, and uh, just with Christmas coming up, one thing or another, um, people have, uh, have asked me to mention uh, that. I bumped into somebody at a show in Bologna um, the other day and they, um, they said that they'd purchased a t-shirt and were very happy with it. So anyway, there we go. I shall say no more on the subject. Um, there we are. Please look at our um, wherever they are for sale, our online shop. So let's uh, let's uh, let me do my Jules Holland bit and move to our first uh, first look with Craig. Well, here we are in Craig's corner. <laughs> <laughs> How is Craig today? I'm OK, thank good. you. Good, good, good. Um, now, we we're obviously um, uh, the owner of the Dino that we featured a couple of videos ago. Ryan's done an absolutely first class job of the bodywork. Yes, yeah, brilliant. Which rather yeah. puts us in an awkward position because <laughs> we here we are left with these sort of manky old original parts. And um, I'm using the royal we here, by the way. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, you're having to, um, to to make them look half decent. Well, yeah. I've, I've been cleaning them up and this is the, the door card was um <clears throat> when we had a look at them the the they'd lost all their gumption from behind you know with the, the foam had gone right this <clears throat> this is this is one that we haven't that we haven't um, that ferrari doctored. made earlier yes exactly yeah uh, so i put i put i've taken the cover off this got rid of the dust that was once foam and then put foam back on this, but that's how that's how empty. Right. So <laughs> this is nothing. There. So this is a before and after. Yes. Yeah. It is. Yeah. We decided to make the decision for the moment to resurrect the old interior, as we did with the yellow Miura. Yes. Yeah. Because it's part of the character of the car. Yeah. It's easy enough to buy a kit and fit it, but that's not in the spirit of um, what we're trying to no, do, no, really. No, definitely not. Um, so, have you got? Can you give us a little dust demonstration? Um, I think this. <laughs> I think this, this one's a good, yeah. Yeah. There's, if we can see. That, yeah. and if I were to do that. Oh, right. Yeah. So this is what 50, yes. 50 year old yeah. Peniferina foam looks like. Just, so that's all go. that's left. Coming out of every orifice. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was originally foam at one stage, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. Okay, I think we've I established. Think we've rather, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Those <laughs> shocks they are, yeah. Yes. Um, and you've, um, oh dear me, you've done this one already, haven't you? Yeah. So um, you've repadded that, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah. Just to, just to give it a little bit more life really yes. because like you were saying we want to save it yeah. so we may as well do our you know the, it's it's almost like the least destructive way of doing it really yeah. taking it off and then just putting some foam at the well, back so and and I've also you know, you give it some hide feed as well so right. it's more supple it doesn't yes. feel half as dry as that feels like cardboard. Now that's interesting because this is leather. Yeah you're saying yes yeah yeah and i was always under the impression that these were vinyl actually because uh, a lot of manufacturers yeah. um actually um cheated and used leather on the seat facings like jaguar yes and and, used and the rest of it was yes was vinyl, vinyl yeah yeah um but this is actually leather how interesting yeah um so that that is looking that'll clean up that's the door trim out of the 246 gt um, and it's even got its little uh this blanking plug is for the electric window that's for the window winder so if your electric window fails bearing in mind this is italian auto electrics in the 1960s and 70s early 70s you take that plug out there's a little windy handle in the toolkit and you stop yourself from getting soaked by uh, by winding that up and these ultra high quality uh, 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 
<laughs> yeah. plastic molded door pockets but again this is factory original and that's in I mean I've seen these broken and cracked people know, have tried to close neck. the door with them <laughs> yeah. over the years I mean Dennis the, the the owner who had it for all those years since I started looking after it in the mid 80s knew his cars yeah and he knew how to look after it um, so uh, yeah that's beautiful okay and this is a bit of the center console isn't it yeah that was that was the same it had nothing nothing underneath it so i took the cover off and i've refoamed that right um cleaned it up a little bit um yeah it's, it's it, yeah it's it, 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 that's eminently reusable oh yes um and this is a fiberglass molding so this goes in front of the gear lever doesn't yes, it yes so yeah uh, on the center console yeah. underneath the dash and uh, this is this is um it's it's mouse hair but without the mouse <laughs> yes, hair it is yeah it's the, it's it's what you would be left with with the mouse hair if it didn't have any hair yes <laughs> yeah. exactly it's yes. just the vinyl version yes, of that this is so it's still got the grain on it which th yes. there are certain parts of it the rails that come down the side on the headline can we can we have um, a look at yes we, yeah yeah now these are the Ooh. cant rails as they're described yes, yeah, aren't yeah. they um, so this is this as you're sitting in the car. Yes, that's like that. Yeah, essentially and then this sort of goes into the back Right where, <laughs> where yes. the um, where the screen is no. so what this car was actually um, It was resprayed retail red in the late 1970s, mm -hmm. which is what this is um, but the uh, Again, we need to make a decision. Do we, I mean that's a bit grubby, do we? I know, it? Uh, no, yeah, we have we, to try. Yes, yeah. I might take it off and heat it up and then take it, you know, we could maybe take it a little bit further, further around there. So I don't, you, you don't know until you start, no. really. Yeah. And the so. owner's coming in in a couple of days yes. to have a look at this. <laughs> yeah. And it has graduated because Ryan's raised the game so much with his beautiful bodywork. Yeah. We are now faced with the situation where. He's raised the bar so much. <laughs> if there's anything that is less than lovely, yeah. the eye is going to be drawn to it. This yeah. is always, this is one of the quandaries of classic car restoration. Where do you begin and where do you end? Um, and this, moving right along, mm. we've got the driver's seat here. And you've, because this well, was, as they often are, split here. Yes, but um, so yeah, the, like you were saying, the driver's seat. So both those panels, the stitching had come away on on both sides so i had to hand sew because i didn't want to take it apart because i didn't think it would survive me taking the whole thing apart yep. just to get into those two panels and i would have had to have taken it opened it up there as well and and then you're getting into the piping mm. and uh, yeah it, it was just too mm, it was too much of a risk really considering right. they're the original seats yeah. Um, uh, we could have done more damage, so I hand sewed. I, I went in through the same perforations, um, and I did the same on the other seat. But there was only one on the other side, so but this right. was both of them were yeah. missing <laughs> any any kind of a, I mean, this uh, takes the thread. Brunt. Yes, I know. Yeah, being being a bucket seat, yes. we use that expression in extremely hushed tones. I mean, there was nothing cooler in the nineteen sixties <laughs> than a bucket seat yeah. in a car. Um, you'd made it if you had a car with a bucket seat in it. Um, but this was uh, this is the original seat from new, and it's actually leather. Um, it would be Connolly leather, I think VM eighty five hundred actually, um, which was black. Um, and they, th this was an optional extra, the leather interior. Uh, oh, was it? Yeah, they would normally have had plastic, and very few of them. Um, in fact, we had one in a couple of years ago, the chairs and flares, as it's called, with oh, the right. Daytona strap. Ah, uh, yes, seats. yeah, yeah. Um, and they are different again. Yeah. But this was a, fa a quite an expensive factory extra, the Connolly Vomol interior, um, and it's it's got a real jet black look to it. It is you know it is solid black mm. and leather these days because of the fact that it's um the actual the actual base coat that they're, they're they're painted and lacquered um the actual base coat is water-based you don't have that no. if you have black modern leather it's actually extremely dark gray yeah yeah it's not pitch black and that's the delight of keeping this you've been yeah. fe you've been feeding yeah, we fed yeah it, we could still do with giving it a little bit more but 
you've got to wait till you know every coat of feed yeah. soaks in otherwise it, it sort of gets a bit jammy yeah. really on top of it so it's starting, um, but it's coming along yeah if the, 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 that it, feels really nice yeah it was it looked really scuffed didn't it when we when, it you did. know when we took it down off scuffed the shelf. that may be the word yeah, of the video yes, yeah. <laughs> we always yeah. like to be of education on this video <laughs> <laughs> scuffed it yeah. i like it that is a craigism yeah. if ever i heard one um, <laughs> that's wonderful work craig really really i mean fabulous um, so, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I see. There's the bit of console over there. Yeah. So, can we just so grab that, that actually? Yeah, let me put this down as well. Oh. Right, so that's, that's great. There's the handbrake. So that yes. goes here when you sat mm. in the car. And this goes that away. Like that. And then that piece goes there if yes. I'm not mistaken yeah and there you have your center console electric window switches which again they were an option okay. mm -hmm. Ferrari in Britain fitted the dealers Maranello concessionaires fitted all sorts of things that they didn't that they had as optional extras in other countries yeah and Ferrari in Britain Maranello concessionaires fitted all sorts of options as standard to try and make the car more upmarket <laughs> and one of them was electric windows no so you can find Dinos in other parts of the world, 246s, that don't have electric windows, mm. but all the cars in the UK did. Little nerdy fact. <laughs> so, um, and that is a control that should never be used on a Dino. That's the choke. Oh, right. And what happens is people put the choke on um, to warm the engine up, and then they put it off, and the cable jams, and you end up with the choke being stuck on all the time, which overfuels the bores in the engine, yeah. breaks the piston rings, that is your that is your engine wreckage lever, <laughs> which should be left well alone. Jerry Anderson's engine wreck <laughs> exactly. wreckage lever. Yes. Yeah. Um, depending on how yes, uh, depending on how much you love or don't your passenger, <laughs> it can be used for a variety of functions. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's so that's wonderful. Now yeah. you've been busy on an Espada as well, haven't you? Oh yeah. Can we have um, a look at that? Which bits do you want to see first? Do you want to uh, do 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 do? Well, here we are with uh, a Lamborghini Espada interior that you're do you've done everything to essentially. Yeah, um, we're just onto the seats now. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. done the headlining, the dash, but carpet, and it was a pretty awful yeah. black Alcantara. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Everything. It wasn't the headlining black as well. The headlining was in a grey wool. Oh well, <laughs> I don't okay. know. <laughs> um, yeah. But the essential fact missing from all this is that it was totally not original. Yes. So you've redone the dashboard in the mouse hair material, which is factory correct. Yeah. Uh, mouse hair was very popularly used by Ferrari and Lamborghini at the time. Uh, Ferrari in the Daytona and Dino, and Lamborghini in the Espada and Urama, and Uraco, actually. Okay. Um, but this is, so this is a rear, this is, the Espada is, was the fastest four-seater in the world when it came out, and because it's a four-seater and it's quite a spacious body yeah. shell there's a lot of leather goes in. yes into. yeah um so yes. i mean this is beautiful work absolutely so this is a rear quarter panel so as yeah. you sat in the back seat this would be there essentially yes yeah the rear quarter window here great big thing um and that's lovely and the this was the sighting for the original factory speakers yes yeah and then you could put a radio in of your choice this is the rear armrest. Um, sits in between the seats. In between the, the seats, yeah, in the back seats there. yeah. So it sits at the back of there, yeah. But this is beautiful. I mean, it absolutely. It's nice beautiful. leather. It's, this is <laughs> Italian leather that we've yeah. got, and this is senape, which is mustard um, in Italian, which rather describes it. And this was a very popular, unsurprisingly, a very popular colour mm. when it was new. Um, Craig, this is beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations, <laughs> honestly. It really is. It's lovely. Um, uh, and here we have the centre console, which I believe you had a bit of... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Cause so what did you have to do with this? Well, after it was... Because it was trimmed in Alcantara, everything was glued 
everything was glued to the um, to the tunnel itself, which is wood as well. So as soon as we took it apart, it just left a, a film of the black Alcantara on, even though we pulled most of it off. So we had to strip it down, we had to sand it down, then it started to come apart. And then we've sort of, well, we've we've strengthened it up because it was it was falling all over the place. It looked like a, a couple of bits of pallet. <laughs> which, so yeah, Quite which is, yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, okay. So, so yeah, so this is, this is all, underneath this, this is all wood. Right, so. and this has got this lovely little magnetic lock yeah. on it. Isn't the action of that just lovely? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I could do that all day. Um, and we've recoated this yes. aluminium um, plate here, and you made up the, the... We needed to sort that out as well, because they'd also trimmed that in Alcantara yeah. as well. So we had to, <laughs> so it took us ages just to, just to strip it down. Um, and get it to you know a level sort of right. playing field. So we put. I mean, all this is exactly as it would would have been stitched. Yeah, in the yes, factory. yeah, yeah. Or every bit of stitching you've done on this is faithful to. Yes. Factory. Yeah, where they've done. Yeah, where they've stitched it. There's even this bit here, where it's two. These, this bit here, that's one panel, the inner part, and this is another panel here, and they haven't they haven't sewn it together. It's just overlapped like that. I think it's so that they can get some tension, so they, they can pull it that way, and then they can pull it that way, so you don't get any creases on that corner. Right. But it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is huge, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, if you're, if you're sat here changing gear, you've got all this going on behind you, of course, being a full four-seater, but it's surprising how roomy the Espada yeah, actually is. Yeah, I know. But for roomy, read acres of leather. Yeah, big. <laughs> yeah. And what is it? Yeah. Eleven hides. We're yes, using yeah, this? that's what we've got. Yeah. Because Rolls Royce, when they made a Silver Shadow or a Silver Cloud, they were using sort of eleven hides in those. But you can see why. Yeah. You know, it's. Um, uh, the hides are good quality hides, though. We're getting good coverage. You know, we're not dodging scars because there's very little scars. Right. So. Um, so we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, it's good quality leather. I know, it's great, isn't it? So that's the gear lever. Yes, yeah. And that, that the gear lever knob, and that, the uh, gator, and that obviously is, uh, that's quite a work of art in itself. Well, yeah, the, 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 way, <laughs> the way they'd done it in Alcantara, it was, this was one panel, and then these two bits were two separate panels, whereas really it's one piece, and you take sort of little pleats, so if you open that out and had it on the table, it would look like a square piece with sort of triangles coming off it. Right. So, and that, so we didn't have it, so we had to re-pattern that because right. there wasn't one. Actually, you could say that about all of it, really. Right. Yeah, the, the patterns that they used weren't, you know, sufficient, really. So we had to go from... This has been a serious job of work. <laughs> yeah, it has. It yeah. really has. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there, there are lots of panels that aren't on this table. Um, yeah. I, I dread to think how many pieces actually make up this interior. But um, it is, I mean, all just it's just beautiful, Craig. It really is, you know, lovely. Thanks. Um, uh, yeah, so we'll look forward to seeing this finished. Well, we shall move on. OK. Thank you very much Thank indeed. <laughs> Well, you've been at it again, Craig, doing some trim work. I mean, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, in this case, this beautiful headlining, and this arrived as a sort of kit, didn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, looks, <laughs> it looks great now. It just needed a lot of heating up and, right. um, you know, and... and well, uh, you're, be with, yeah. you're being very modest here, because <laughs> um, whoever whoever made this buy a kit. I mean, it, it was pre-cut and pre-sewn, yeah. wasn't it? And I mean, you still had to use the steel rods that yes. go inside yeah, yeah. It, in, inside here. Um, but the um, whoever had made it had actually used a blue biro. Yeah, to mark yeah, it was it. being cute. You were yeah, being it cute, was, yeah, it was and bad. it had actually bled <laughs> through here. So you had to, this is V2 of the fitting, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Because version one, you could actually see... There was like a blue sort of hue coming, where, where, where you get that line of sewing, 
they'd um, on the other side they'd marked it with a biro and the biro had bled through so you as soon as you put it in which we did yesterday you could see this line of blue and we we're thinking that's yeah. just crazy it was very difficult to yeah. detect but it was there it was there you could you could see it yeah. um so we took it off and then i saw just beyond the blue <laughs> If you see what I mean on all yes. on all three panels, and um, yeah, it looks it looks great. Now. And you can't yes. tell. No, that. no, you can't. No, it looks perfect. Yeah, but we just couldn't let it go. No, no, no. no, <laughs> yeah. no. We, we 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 did have a talk about yeah, it because yeah. it was very very subtle. Yes, yeah. But we, um, you know, if we're restoring the car to the level we are, uh, we've we've just got to do that really. Yes, definitely. Um, and it all, it looks all the better. I mean, we don't need to make any excuses about it now. No, no it's no. perfect. It, yeah, it looks great now. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. To, it's coming together now. Uh, and you, you, you have got shares in the in, <laughs> in the bulldog yeah. clip yeah. manufacturer. Yeah, yeah. As do a running short at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so uh, yeah, um, that so, looks really beautiful. Yeah. So soon, as soon as the glue's dried, obviously I take take the the clips off and cut it back, and um, and and then it's finished. Yeah. We've got the the light at the back. Um, and then the mirror. yes, yeah, yeah, and um, and the sun visors sort of oh, sit yes, here, of yeah, yeah, into so where that the post trim and the rail intersect, they sort of sit behind there. So, um, no, it looked great, yeah. It's a beautifully designed car, actually, yeah, it really is. Uh, not just the outside, but almost every everywhere, really, but to right. Thank you very much. OK, no problem. Well, here we are with the Jaguar E-Type that we've been doing, and uh, you've been doing a lot of work on this. There is. You lot. and Alex, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, Alex isn't here today, unfortunately, but uh, credit where credit's due, he's been doing lovely yeah, work. Yeah, he's done really well. Um, and he's one of our young, our young up-and-coming, bright young Turks, mm -hmm, isn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, rather like me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, OK. The vast majority of this car was absolutely useless. It was very it? rusty. All the floors, all the sills, inner and outer, the rear quarters, all the inner, inner panels, the boot floor, the rear panel. It was, it was in a bad way, rust-wise, yeah. Right. So, what percentage of the sheet metal is new? 70? Probably, yeah, yeah, probably. Um, okay, and the, the the funny thing is, I remember um, before we, we'd sort of got to this stage, you could actually you could actually move the whole back end. That's right. The car was very. I could lift it. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. could bend round here. That's right. Yeah. So it's uh, it, fortunately now all the metal works on it. It doesn't actually move anymore. No. It, it, it's a surprisingly, it's a shockingly solid structure. Yes, actually. it is. Yes, it is. That's right. Um, well, you've got you, you, you know the, the cells are substantial, both the inner and outer panels. That they're strong. They're reinforced as well. The floors are strong with with yeah. chassis rails running down them, and you've got a, a central tunnel as well. Yes. So there's quite a bit there. Yes. But of course, sure. with a uh, an open top car like this all the strength is, is in the floors yeah no roof to no exactly it, so. um, but it's much much better now than, than it was previously oh, yeah incomparably so mm. and we've got a, a nice a nice glory hole of um, absolutely a pile of bits and panels all the stuff that's come off it I'll, yeah. th I'll throw them away at some point yes or put them in our black museum one yeah. or the other <laughs> yeah um, so uh, okay um, can we just because you're about to fit this out of silk. Can we just tip it up a bit and have a look at that? Okay? Yeah, okay. Easy as that. That's right. So yes, this, this sill is fully fitted. Yeah. All welded, all the way around. A few more bits to finish off here, but basically that, that's on. That's not coming off again. And this is not a, a visible line when the car's finished, is it? That is completely flush. Course, yes, it is. They're, these are leaded over. But at this stage here, the very base of this panel here was, was rusty, so I've cut that much off. And now this is the, the new panel, so I've got to put a piece in there right. to fill that up. The rear end. Is Same as you have there. Yeah, yeah. You, we can just yeah. see the outline there that's of right. where you've done it. And this, um, what we're going to do is finish this with lead, yep. not filler. That's right, yes. Exactly as it would have been done when That's it was right. new. Yes, yes. Um, lead is, is actually, I mean, modern fillers are fantastic, but lead is... Uh, lead's better. Faithful, yeah, faithful yeah, to the right, original. Yeah, yeah. Um, so 
so we've got here, that's the, the jacking point. That's right, yes, the jacking point. One jacking point in the middle for picking the whole side of the car um, up. Which is, is the, the cross member for the seats is under here, that's you were right. saying. Yes, there's, there's a cross member underneath. Or, or there. over here, if it's the right way round. Yeah. And that bit um, is, what's, is a mounting for what's called the a radius arm. That's right. And um, it, it's got a huge rubber donut effect inside it here, but that, is respo that takes the shock of going over the bumps yeah and it's it there's not a massive amount of tin work around that no. either no there is reinforcing on the inside there on the on the inside of the car but it, it's not as strong as you no. you'd imagine but it works works fine um, and of course these were the jaguar's answer to not having enough foot that's room. right gave you a bit more uh, gave you a bowl in the floor so, so i mean it's it's a it's a curious twist of fate or whatever that in the classic car world the flat floor e-types are so revered they're desirable um but actually for what what sir william lyons and uh malcolm sayer who styled it presumably came up with was this where they cut a hole in the floor so instead of it being level they actually put this if it, the car was the right way up that would be protruding underneath the floor to give you an extra two inches of heel room That's to right. put, get your feet under the dashboard yep. very clever very yep. pragmatic can we just have a look at this this sill because yeah um, this is an interesting juncture this is obviously the the engine support frame which bolts on the front there at, the, at, at this stage now this sill I'm in the process of fitting so it's been on and off half a dozen times and and, and it's almost there now before I'm ready to start welding it but I can quite easily take it off this is what's called being a pain and interrupting work. So. <laughs> James is far too polite to... Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> OK. I take it all back. <laughs> it was all going so well. Right, oh, there you go. Yeah. Quick release sill. There you go. Whoops. So that's all been... That'll do. That won't go anywhere now. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, this is... This is the, the heart of the car, isn't it, really? That's right. Those are the new inner sills that have been replaced, along with the floor sections. All, all of this has all been replaced. And these, these are reinforcers that um, were completely rotten on it before. All, all of this was, was very rusty and not very strong before. Well, this is the thing. I mean, you know, this is all that's holding the car together, mm. essentially. And these. As we said earlier, these these di did know how to rot. They did. So, if you have you know water, because in, in the rear wheel arch there, there's plenty of areas where the water can there get is. in. Yeah, yeah. You know, if once they start rotting away, you're losing strength mm. massively. That's right. Yeah, you certainly wouldn't want it to have had an accident in it. No. Pre restoration, it wouldn't be strong at all. Um, but so. it's a thin line between being solid and. Mm. being a death trap that's essentially. right yeah that's right um there are so many cars out there that look nice that have got these sorts of issues that you don't really know about mm. that yeah. they need restoration work yes yeah uh, now Th I mean, this is a, a nice shell this now it's, it is it's, it's beautiful good, good and strong. yeah and some of the panels fitted better than others didn't they? yeah the floor's really nice floors fitted beautifully inner sills fitted really nicely outer sills are okay the rear quarters were the hardest part Right. By a long way. They, they weren't the same. Boot floor fitted nicely. Rear panel and rear quarters were, were very tricky to fit. When I say tricky, I mean it must have taken four or five days work on each course panel to make them fit. Yeah. Yeah. I hope the customer's listening to this. <laughs> yes, that's right. No, but um, it's, uh, yeah. It's amazing, it really is. So the, the back suspension cradle, as it's called, fits in there. That's right, bolts in there. Uh, prop shaft comes through that hole there. It does. Um, it's, uh, it's a remarkably well thought out piece of kit, really. It's a clever design, yeah, very clever design. When you consider it's, what is it, 60, over 60 years right. ago. Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. So uh, great, well, you, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, next time we see it, it will probably be close to if not in paint in paint probably yeah that's yeah. right because yeah. i'm not far off done with it now yeah so essentially all the black panels are new aren't they that's right if it's black or silver on there it's new original stuff is this epoxy where we had it sandblasted and painted, and painted. That. yeah okay thanks very much james thank you we finish next time you see it <laughs>
Oh, we'll hold you to that. <laughs> well, um, we were sort of walking past this one, but we weren't. Mm -hmm. So um, it, this is quite obviously a VW T1, if I've got my... T2. T, T2. Yeah. Right. Um, I am not the world's leading authority. Well, all the vans were T2 up till... Of course. They brought right. out the T3 and T4. Right. But the, the split screens in the bay windows were T2s. Right, OK. Um, we do not restore these. This is a little favour you're doing for That's a right. friend. Yeah. So um, More than a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a lot of so work. We, yeah, I must stress, this is not coming in um, for restoration, but... You are doing a fabulous job of this, James. I mean, it was pretty rotten, wasn't it? Oh, it was it? terrible. It was, it, was, it was really, really bad. Uh, there was nothing left. All the outriggers, the sills, the rear quarters, the corners, battery trays, front panel, front steps, doors. Absolutely rotten. Um, it had been sat in a, in a oh. garden, I believe. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of oil. For many, many years. Right. And, um, and yeah, the guys bought it and... Just doing the metal work for him. Yeah, and it was a lot of work. I mean, we can take some uh, shots of the underneath, but all that's been, you've done all that. All I've, been, done. I've been sort of quietly watching your progress on this, and mm. it's been uh, quite something. Yes, it's taken well, evenings and weekends. I've been on it a year now. Have you? Mm. <laughs> right, OK, well. Big job. Um, yeah, I mean, it always amazes me with something like this. It's quite obviously reasonably heavy. It's certainly not beetle weight. No. Um, and yet, what, what size engine did this have? Well, originally they were a 1200, no. 33 horsepower when they were brand new. Can you imagine a, a, a laden one of these <laughs> going no. up a hill? Well, I had later ones with the 1600 and they were bad enough. Right. They were, they were pretty poor. Oh, 1200cc, unbelievable. But you can buy a sticker that you see it for sale at Volkswagen shows quite regularly and you put them on the back of the Volkswagen and it says, if you think this is slow, wait till I get to a hill. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, yeah, they weren't, they weren't built for performance, definitely. No, no, it looks fantastic, beautiful work. It's, I, I, always, I always find them interesting. I like the 23 mm. window Samba, That's isn't right. it? That's right, that's right. That's the sort of holy grail of... It is, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are quite cool looking they things. They are, they're lovely things, And they're yeah. worth big money now. They are, they? yes, they're worth 100 odd thousand pounds for a proper Samba. Yeah, but uh, no, this is beautiful. As I say, you know, inevitably, we've talked about the E-Type, so people are going to say, what is that VW in the background? So we have to mention it. Um, we'll do some uh, roll to cover what we're talking about, but it's come on really well. Mm -hmm. I, I saw this early on and I, I thought, what mm. is going to happen with that? But no, you've done a great job. It's nearly, nearly ready now, nearly yes. ready for paint. Yeah, nearly, we c and we can fit the LS3 engine in the back. That's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Improves performance. Yeah, slightly. <laughs> um, great, OK. Right, I'll, I will leave you in peace now, I promise. <laughs> no problem. Well, another very interesting car that we've got in um, is this Aston Martin DB6 Mark II Vantage Manual, which is a very, very unusual car. Um, I haven't focused much on Aston Martins uh, in the channel so far. I've always done work on Aston Martins going back for the last 40 years. So um, we have had some interesting jobs in. Uh, including rebuilding the engine on the Prince of Wales Aston Martin V8 Vantage Volante. But that's for another day. Um, this car is, uh, as I say, it's very rare. They made, I think they made them for less than 18 months as a model. And this actually was made concurrently with the DBS, which was supposed to replace it. Uh, but for various reasons, Aston Martin carried on making uh, the DB6. And uh, one of the easy identifiers for the Mark II is the flared wheel arches, because normally the DB6 had um, wheel arches like that, just profiled to the edge of the body. And the reason they did that was because they went on to wider tires. Um, but this car is a one owner car. This gentleman bought this car brand new in 1970. How about that? And he still got it. Um, it's largely unrestored. It's beautifully original. The interior is stunning. It's the original uh, Connolly uh, cherry red interior. And um, it's manual gearbox, as I say, which makes it very unusual. Even the original handbook on the passenger seat there. And it's come in for a braking system problem, this car. 
So we're going to be looking at that and this car more than deserves its own video. It is an extremely interesting part of Aston Martin history and incredibly rare. Um, I couldn't put a figure on how many they made of these uh, DB6 Mark II Vantage manuals, but it's very, very few. Uh, Vantage signifying higher state of tune on the engine, uh, three carburettors, but in this case three twin choke Webers, 45 DCOE 9s to be precise, um, against three SU carburettors and attendant camshaft and cylinder head porting um, upgrades. Very, very interesting car and I'm really looking forward to doing a video on this car, but first of all there is a small matter of having to fix it. So um, yeah, thanks for, um, thanks for watching, uh, please remember to like and subscribe and uh, we'll be back with something else very soon.